Yeah, especially. So Nick, your thoughts on that? Um, a bit of both mixed thoughts, really. You know, I thought we played well enough to probably um, uh, win the game without creating many chances at all. Don't think either side created many chances. I thought we played some good stuff, but then uh, the, the the flip side of that, you know, after Saturday. We had a reaction tonight and we saw things we didn't see Saturday, which we asked them to see. And and so, so pleased and also frustrated, I think. A mixed bag, I must say. Yeah, like you say, a game of few chances, but you probably had the better, the better ones, do you think? Uh, probably had probably just the better ones, but I think we had a fair share of possession. I think we played some good stuff. I think, you know, I think we, 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 they worked hard and they, they won their first and second bits. And when they got the ball down, they played some great stuff. But then just in that final third, it just didn't click. Where, for whatever reason tonight, it didn't click and we didn't create any chances or we didn't get Ben or Harvey away. Or, or when balls come into the box, they didn't fall onto our head. So it was a frustrating evening, I must say, a very frustrating evening. But... You know, so, you know, sometimes you, that happens in football and you can't dictate the way the games are going to go. And, and, and to take a point at a place like this, you know, isn't a bad result, especially keeping ourselves a clean sheet, which is a, a big a big plus point for tonight. The uh, first 20 minutes, Jake Jones looked quite lively. And then obviously he picked up the injury and it seemed, it level seemed to drop a bit after that. Didn't it? it is, you know, it upsets you when you set up and you, and you have a, a game plan and you, and you set up, especially with the way he's he's been over the last two games when he's come on. He's been you know, really, really good, really positive and he had that same start tonight. And if he had played for 90 minutes, I think the, probably the result may have been slightly mm-hmm. different. But, you know, that's uh, ifs and buts. But, but, but yeah, so so when you have to make a change, t- obviously Tilly's not 100% after his shoulder on um, on. on Saturday, so we, we've made a change, and, and he's, he's gone on there and done a, a job for us tonight. But it, it wasn't the same, and that kind of pace and that directness disappeared. And I think you saw that in the rest of the game. Really, it, it, there wasn't as, as that direct play that Jake does, does give us. And it looks like a nasty one, to be honest. It looks like his, his ankle has been rolled, and, and he does suffer from that anyway. So it could be, it could be something that we have to have a look at. Yeah, so. Um, we didn't really see what happened. Was it was there a challenge, or did he just turn? On yeah, no. I think I think what happened was it, it, it a shot, and the challenge come in, and um, the boy's foot went, and it, he went under, and then his weight went onto his ankle. So yeah, so he, he obviously turned it. It's, it's a lot of swelling there. Until that swelling goes down, we won't be able to um, assess it properly. Um, like you say, uh, another clean sheet. Uh, well, getting back to a, a clean sheet after Saturday was good, and I thought um, like Shooter was really impressive at the back today. There's a couple of really important challenges he made to stop them. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooter was good. JJ coming next to him, who's been sit, sit watching for for two or three games when Leon's done really well, um, and then Alex and, and Woody look, looked solid as well. Yeah, and the shape was good, and, and Adam was, you know, commanding behind them as well. So we looked solid, and I think yeah credit to us really that they did sit off quite a lot and let us have the ball because they, they were worried about us they were worried about our movement maybe and our creativity that we've got in the middle of the park with Rooney, Josh and Levi um, but as I say it just didn't happen tonight and it didn't feel like it was going to happen either yeah. I got, got that feeling that no team was ever going to create a, a real good opening for us to score so it seems to happen quite a lot here we had this at, um, last year I think we played um, uh, Norton or someone here when they were shared last year and it was a similar kind of game and it felt very similar tonight but as I say after Saturday you will take a clean sheet and you will yeah. take a new and draw away from home With uh, Jake picking up that injury and obviously a few, few of the players on the bench are carrying knocks as well do you think he might have to bring someone in before the weekend? Uh, I'm sure he's looking he's always looking <laughs> Kitch is always looking to bring players in if it's going to strengthen the squad but as I say yeah, we've, got, we, we've started with 18-19 we've got four or five injuries now um, uh, obviously, we've got Dakes and Alex Curtis who are out. Jake, Dakes did a bit tonight, but he's not right. Jake Jones now. Joe Thomas has done, done an ankle injury. So, yeah, we, we've got we've, we we have to just patch them up and see where we are. But if we need to, then we might do. Yep, yeah, you know, there's always that option. Um, and I'm sure that that Neil's got ideas of what he would like to bring in if that's a possibility. But before the weekend, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Do you think any of the lads who uh, missed this game will be back for Saturday? Uh, it doesn't look that way. Uh, Alex Curtis, I, I don't think, has made much improvements, nor Sam Griffiths or Sam Smith. Um, Dacus isn't ready, um, and, and Jake looks a, a big doubt, so I wouldn't have thought so. Um, so it may be that we need to bring another body in just to make sure that we're okay in all areas. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, okay. okay. okay.